So when we remove this groundwater, it's actually quite saline and now it's sitting at surface. So how do we deal with saline water at the surface? There's a few different ways we can go about that. One, we can treat the water, try to remove the salt through a process known as reverse osmosis and re-inject it back down into these aquifers. It's quite a lot of work going into this. One of the things that we need to be very mindful of when we do re-injection is that we're taking water that has now been exposed to a relatively oxygen rich environment, so our atmosphere, and we now want to return that into aquifers potentially kilometres down below the ground surface where everything is relatively oxygen poor. So you start introducing oxygen into an area that doesn't have a lot of oxygen and you can start inducing a lot of chemical reactions that have the potential to precipitate minerals. and can then start blocking up some of those pore spaces that allow the groundwater to move through those aquifers. One of the other things we can do with this water is treat it at surface and give it to the towns and to the landholders on the surface for them to use instead of them extracting groundwater out from those systems. But at the end of either of those processes, so treating it for re-injection or treating it for other receptors at the surface, you're still left with a, a hypersaline sludge or slurry at the end of it. So being able to manage that component as well to make sure that that salt doesn't then go into the environment, impact on soils, impact on fresher groundwater, impact on the streams and the environment and that kind of thing. And one of the ways to deal with that is, you know, basically burying it as we do in landfills. So with a nice kind of what they call cap and clay, clay and cap. Um, other people can refine this slurry further and actually precipitate salt out from it and then sell that as a commercial product so that we can use salt on our tables come dinner time. We've now had a look at potential implications, we've had a look at how we gather data, but how do we continue monitoring the impact of extraction over time because the extraction is not something that happens within a year or so. The, the extent of these economic deposits mean that this industry could be operating over decades.